Sometimes in life, you realize things, things that change the way you view your life as a whole. My realization came to me several weeks ago in the form of a comment. I was sitting in class, my nose buried into an interesting book about wizards and a boy with a scar when I noticed someone standing next to me. Looking up, I saw a classmate of mine looming over me, her hair falling into my face and her eyes wide with confusion. She then opened her mouth. And the words that came out of that mouth next shocked me. I feel really bad about how oppressed you are. Me? Oppressed? Of course not. I brushed her off with a half-formed answer and an awkward smile and continued on with my day. However, her words deeply impacted me. And soon, they began to fill every corner, every crevice of my mind until nothing was left but those words. So that night, I decided to search for the definition of oppression. And according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, oppression is the unjust or cruel exercise of power. So that's when the realization hit me. And it must have swung hard because it hurt. I am oppressed. <sighs> Looking back, there have been many times where I've been oppressed. Like that time where my father encouraged me to go to a high-ranking university such as Harvard or Oxford or Yale, even offering to pay my tuition and move to that country. I feel oppressed when my parents encourage me to aim for high-paying jobs like being a lawyer or a doctor. The oppression I face is evident when my parents give me the permission to go out to the mall or to the movies or to a theme park or out with friends, out with my equally oppressed Muslim friends. And when we go there, we do oppressed things like laugh and eat and have an overall incredible time. I feel oppressed when the hardest part about staying after school is finding a ride home. <laughs> like that time where my oppressed mother went to the other side of the world and my cruel father was too busy at work to come pick me up. Life is just so unfair. But what I really, really cannot stand is when I go to sleepovers and my parents ask me unjust and tyrannical questions like, whose house is it going to be at? And who's going to be there? It's so absurd for a parent to want to know whose house their child is spending the night at. But still, I still feel oppressed when... Sorry, I'm just so oppressed right now. <laughs> But I think it's finally time for me to address the elephant in the room, my hijab. My hijab doesn't oppress me, right? It's not like it's wrapping itself around my neck and choking the life out of me. It's not like it's sucking my blood or controlling my brain, right? Wrong. My hijab is the height of my oppression. And I have something that I want to confess to all of you today. I was forced forced to constantly listen to. It's all right if you don't want to wear it anymore or take it off when I made the conscious decision to wear my hijab six years ago. But still, I feel oppressed when there's no pressure put on me by my parents to wear my hijab or its sister Abaya. I am revoltingly oppressed when I make the conscious decision to wear my hijab every single day for no one but God and I. So am I really oppressed? Of course I am. And to save me from my oppression, I need men in custom tailored suits to debate my right to cover my body. Thank God these men are here to put us in our places. What heroes. I need to be reminded that I am a brainwashed robot who can't tell whether or not I'm oppressed. Wait, let me just check. No, still not human. I need to be told that my hijab, a cloth on my head, promotes violence and murder and terrorism. The same terrorism which my uncle risked every day of his life fighting against on the fields of bloody, bloody northern Pakistan. Most, most importantly, to save me, 
I need to remember that every step I take, every word I speak, every breath I breathe, every move I make is a reflection of my oppression. And I can't save myself because I am a poor, innocent, helpless woman. Yeah, yeah. After having a really good look at my life, I am oppressed in a really funny sort of way. Thank you.